Let's go and check out this shirt. Pretty cool, huh? It's a vet. Duh. <laughs> she used to be called a vet death, I'm pretty sure. I noticed the name change <coughs> as she became more important. Uh, she's ducking and weaving. She's the Queensland uh, health um, jigaboo. Ah, uh, what is it? <clears throat> it's not the health minister because that's this new dude. She's a stand-in, stand-in puppet, whatever it, she is. But she's in hiding over the last few days about an answering the um, Queensland um, hospital crisis with um, am ambulances having to um, ramp. That's where they take care of patients inside the ambulance because there's no beds in the hospital. I wonder why. And and this guy comes, some spokes head comes on and goes, Queenslanders are really asking why. Um, oh, what did he say? They're really asking why this is going on with the hospitals or something like that. Oh, it was just, man, you can't even dislike their damn videos, the news anymore. So they get like two likes and they must have thousands of dislikes. I mean, how long can this carry on? I mean, forever probably, but... So anyway, <clears throat> there's, a, there's a major crisis going on and Ambos are apparently going to um, quit because the, the workload's too much. Um, don't forget that a lot of them don't want to get the squirt squirt. So, yeah, so the hospital's obviously full of the squirted. And, um, and this one bloke, I'll put the link here. He's broken his hip, this old fella. Trying to, trying to um, climb up a banana tree. <laughs> he fell and broke his hip. I shouldn't laugh, but like it was pretty high up, and he didn't look like the m most athletic of blokes. He wanted to bag those bananas. <laughs> so anyway, he had to wait four hours, and um, and they were saying, "What's going to happen when the um, the airlines that you know, the airlines, the D airlines." in America, that when that lyris hits, that's what they're saying, what's going to happen then? And the old fella's like, well, I'm going to have to do then, wait till the next day. And that's, that's pretty much the situation. So if you want to know whether the squirt squirts hurting people, um, it is. Um, I don't have anyone around me that I really talk to. I've noticed a few things. I noticed the takeaway woman in town who got it. I think I mentioned that in a video that she, um, they didn't open the takeaway for like the next two months. And I've seen her um, pulling out of a driveway with the bloke she's with driving and uh, it looked like she was sick, like blowing her nose or something that she was driving. But yeah, I mean, they wouldn't want to be losing business and they could have been open. And uh, I spoke to her after that she got the squirt squirt, which was about two months ago, and that was so they could open. And they haven't opened since, so I'm figuring that she's got immunity problems. She was like one, the one I was telling you about. is like, no, I'll never have it. And then wanted to, and then went and had it, despite their health problems, her and her daughter, um, just because to keep a job and I mean you know fair enough but if you know that it's there to de to take out you know to like take out the world's population pretty much um <laughs> that's what it's about um and you believe that then surely your life's not worth flipping burgers anyway I'm going to put the link now I'm starting to dribble about the um, that other stuff, but I just wanted to come on and say, yeah, if you want some, some information on what, what's going on here and particularly in Queensland, um, and before the actual Delta Airlines <laughs> hits, then, uh, go check it out.